Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a simple high-low card game for PC and mobile in Unity and welcome to episode 10. In this tutorial we're going to create the ability to save a high score. Don't forget, click subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, saving a high score is actually relatively simple. It doesn't require too much coding, but it does require us to use something called player prefs. Player prefs are a way of storing information that can be reloaded into Unity even after the application has been closed. So, to start with, let's create some text up here which represents our high score. So, we currently have this right here. As you can see, so let's duplicate this to make it become what will be our high score. So, street score, hold control, press D to duplicate, and we'll call this high score. And I'm going to change the text to say just something quick and short best and zero. So, I'm going to align this to the left hand side and I'm going to bring it across to probably about there that should do so we'll have our current score here and our best will always be loaded in here so by default the very first time we start the game it will be zero anyway so let's leave it as zero so all of this is going to be done in our card control script not card control script, our global score script we're dealing with score aren't we of course so global score my apologies so let's go into the global score script now what we'll need to do here is when the script loads, we're going to need one instance of that high score loaded. And every time the score is greater than whatever that score is, then we need to resave it. So firstly, let's create another variable here. So public int, and this one is just going to be called high score semicolon. Now we are going to create another method here and I think we deleted it a couple of tutorials ago when I said oh, we don't need it. I think we do actually need it because we're going to need to load that high score. So let's have void start and if it does come up private don't worry uh, it doesn't need to be private so we can get rid of that. So void start and what we do here is we have to make high score equal to whatever would be in that player pref. So high score equals player prefs dot get int. So G E T capital I N T. And I know this may seem a little bit weird that we're doing the loading before we're even doing the saving, but in the long run, it's easier doing it this way. So playerprefs.getInt and in brackets and quotes the name of the player pref where something will be stored. Now at this point we can call it anything. Whatever we put in these quotes doesn't matter as long as we use the same actual player pref throughout this code. So let's call this something relative to what we're doing. Let's say best score high low and again like i say it doesn't matter what it can be called it can be called purple monkey dishwasher it doesn't matter honestly it doesn't matter as long as you type it the same when you load and save so close the quote close the bracket semicolon so what will happen here is high score will become equal to whatever that player pref is first time you start the game it will be zero so it will load zero if we get a high score of three when we load it back in it will be three so at this point we now have to establish what we need to do with this because we also need to make it display on our screen. Remember we did this with score display and we displayed the score here? Well we can do the same with the best display. So public game object, we'll have this best display semicolon. And after we have loaded in that player pref down here, below it, we just need to put best display dot get component spiky brackets text with a capital T. Remember, it's the same as this section here. Dot. Oh, we've got the parentheses. Dot text 
equals, and I think we had best colon space, close the quote, and then plus high score, semicolon. So now our best score is also displayed on our screen, but we'll only update the once at this point because we only have it in the start method. Next thing we need to do is we need to establish whether we need to overwrite what the best score is. So down here in void update, we need to think about this a little bit methodically because we need to fully understand whether we truly do need to save the score or not. So we need to say if, and we need to say basically is current score higher than high score. So if current score is greater than high score, which if, even if we just get one, it will be greater than it. So if it is greater than it, then what we do is we say player prefs dot set int. So we're setting an integer rather than getting. So a lot of people do get mixed up between set and get. Get is to retrieve, set is to place. So set int and in brackets, we need to then put the string, which is our player pref. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this up here, copy it and paste it. Now, the reason I've done that is simply because I don't want to mistype it, press the wrong key, because if it's mistyped even by one single letter or one single you know, punctuation mark, it's not going to work. They have to be identical. Like I said, it doesn't matter what you call it as long as they are identical in both loading and saving. So we now need to put a comma and tell it what value we want to put in that high score, in best score, high low. And we want to put in current score. Like so. And close bracket and semicolon. So what's happening here is after we have updated on the screen, we're saying if current score is greater than high score, then what we need to do is say whatever our high score is. And ultimately what we do need to do is this may end up in a bit of a loop, but I don't think it really matters too much. I mean, the idea of what we're doing um, obviously needs testing. Whenever you develop, you always need to test no matter what. So for now, let's see how this performs in Unity. So let's save and head back into Unity. Let it compile. Head up to the settings object and we do need to set that best display object. So let me close up these cards because we don't need them there. And we do need to put this high score over here. I'm going to save my scene and press play. So at this point we can see our streak is zero. Hi. Yep. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, low, four, yep. Okay, so I'm thinking, should we update the best as well? So I'm gonna stop this now. So we got two there. So fingers crossed when we load this up, our best should say two. And it does. So that works, that works as intended. Now the next thing to test is just to make sure that it doesn't overwrite a lower number. But before that, what I want to do is also update our best score if our score is better. So let's go to um, global score once again. And let's take this. And we're also going to place it down here. Make sure this is only inside the if statement inside the update method and change it to current score. So what this will do is it will update both our standard score and our best score if we are beating our high score. So like I say, what we need to test now is the fact that we don't overwrite. So this should still load too. Yep, so let's deal and let's say hi. Okay, so that was incorrect. 
So let's deal, let's say hi. Another incorrect one. And let's just make sure the best has not overwritten with zero, which it hasn't. So deal, hi. Yep, we got that right. We've got one. So let's make sure that one doesn't overwrite that best of number two. Perfect. So now let's finally test this out and make sure that our streak and best do match up. Oh, wow. We're not having much luck here, are we? <laughs> we're really not. Uh, so hi. Oh, wow. Wow. That's that's shocking game. That's shocking. Okay, so low. 10. Let's go low again. And I'm thinking low again. So we should, hopefully, we get this right. <clears throat> and we should see both of these update. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable game. You're fixed. Okay, so we've got one. That's good. Let's go low. That's good. Let's also go low again. Unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't plan this even if I tried to do that. My best streak is two. Okay, so either way, I know this will work. I see our, our best is still two, uh, which obviously is a good thing. So I'm thinking next tutorial, what we'll do is... Oh, hang on. I think we might actually do this now and get to three. There we go. They both update. So, yeah, we're doing quite well now. So even if we exit the game, even if you know we, we just quit it, come back into it, it will have saved our best score. So our best is now four. So next tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to look at some animations and a splash screen. Uh, I'll get into a little bit more what a splash screen really is and how it works and what it's really for. You don't necessarily need one, but we'll get into all of that in the next tutorial. So until then, guys, thank you very much for watching.